Alright, so here's the cell all hooked up. There's the bubbler, bubbles in, goes into my intake here. Recent installs have been it's in the cab switch right here that illuminates blue that I can toggle the whole system on and off. Um, down here I have a amp gauge for the system and a volt gauge for the system. And here I just installed my pulse width modulator and it has a potentiometer on it that allows me to adjust the system. So as you can see, watch the amps as I adjust this. So that allows me to have full control of the HHO that I'm producing. So you watch that. It's fan cooled. I made sure and got a fan cooled one. So yeah, so I have all the controls inside the cab here. Then we go back out and we look at the system and you can see it's just spitting it out pretty substantial now. I mean that's got to be close to three, three plus liters a minute. Um, that's way more than I've ever seen, and I haven't, I haven't taken a measurement yet. But prior to this, it was two, and now it's three, or now it's spitting out more, whatever. Um, there's a the cell. You can see all the, you can see the electrolysis going on in there. And I mean, it's pretty simple. Wired all up, wired in. I got a 30 amp relay right here that I put in that's wired to the switch and then I got the inline fuse right here uh, 30 amp as well so I can you know some safeguards so I don't burn anything up so yeah I think that'll make a definite difference on the way the truck runs so we'll find out we'll do some miles per gallon testing uh, and then I got the volt gauges here this is the truck volt gauge and the battery system but these are these are strictly for the HHO down here. So, yep. That's it.